think he gets here. Oh, we're live. Right. Oh, look at that. Woo-hoo. Look at us. We're live, everybody. All right. We're waiting for Vicky, for you people that are just joining us. But we're going to talk about sex, not with Vicky, maybe with Vicky. Um, and I'm going to talk about promos today, the giveaways he's doing and things. Yes. So, well, hello, guys. Exciting. Hello, and, everybody. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, so, along doing with uh, the Achronos Gallery that I had uh, an exhibition previously, That's uh, we have created some uh, collectibles. And Ooh, there are some up. giveaways that are running uh, on my social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, yep. and wait, on wait, television. look who's joined us. The the starlet is here. Because wait, I can't hear here. you. Hold on. Oh, that's what we love that about you, and because we're live. Yeah, my the, audio oh. screwed up. Hold on, I can't. Oh my god, this is what happens, people. Ah! There you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there you go. All right, there you go. There you go. There you go. Talk amongst oh. yourselves. So we do constantly. Hey, you know what we'll do while you're trying to figure out your audio? We're going to play the intro, and then Adam will talk about his giveaway. Hey, guys. All right. right. This is 2OF Entertainment. Vicky's on mute. Oh, we like to look at her. She wears sunglasses at night. There you go, Vicky. Look at you. It looks like a day. She's on your, you're on mute, Vicky. You look, we love it when you're on mute. <laughs> your marriages would last much longer if there was a mute button. Um, would you like to click unmute? Here, I'll click unmute for Vicky. There you go, Vicky. I can't unmute you. You have to unmute yourself. Vicky is on mute. You're on mute. I can't unmute you. You have to unmute yourself. But can she listen? Can you listen? I think she- I also I don't think she knows how to unmute herself. This is too funny. There is a button, I think, down. There is a button. She clicked something that muted her. And now she's un she's unmutable. Oh, she's thinking about it. She's wearing sunglasses. She's just too cool for school. She's thinking about it. This is great. We're, you know what? We're just gonna talk and at some point Vicky will just be here. <laughs> <laughs> she's the eye candy anyway. She's like the our watch one. Yeah, yeah. She's like the weather girls of the sixties that they just she used to put tell us something candy. important, but she cannot. Maybe it's a she message. Can't, yeah. So it's uh, like what's that was movie? an what alien is? attack. Oh my god, this on is her like and she wants to warn us. Oh well, maybe dangerous. She's about to type us. Vicky, we can't we can't you're on mute. We can't, you're muted. Mute. Okay, I love it. I'm like, I'm good that we're live. Our fans get to see how bad it is that what we go through on a daily basis. Okay, let me just let, let me just tell her. You press Control and D. Press Control and D. On your Control and D. Control there. and D. Let's see if we can help Vicky out a little bit. There we go. I don't think she realizes she's muted. There we go. She's like, stop it. Anyway, talk about your giveaways while Vicky's using Yeah, yeah. So uh, in in the three of the social media, on Facebook, on yes, Insta, yes. and on X, yeah, uh, you can win in each one of them, two of those guys here, the uh, okay. collectibles that we created from artworks that were uh, in that show. Right. And uh, they're very nice. You can buy them also, of course. There are 20 editions of them. You can buy them. Nice. In the gallery, okay, uh, but you have to ask for them now. And uh, so, if you, it, it's very simple to participate. You just go to the site and follow the three rules. I think you have to go and like the gallery. You have right. to share the post and write something because you you need to write something because some guys don't write anything. Uh, we will. Uh, we will uh, choose the winner from the guys that write something because that's okay. how you, sh- you you show your name. Right. So that's the giveaway. So there are six of them, two okay. in each social media. There are very uh, many possibilities to win because there are not much uh, engagement with uh, social media when you post like this. So there are not too many participants yet. So right. just do it. I think. Let's do it. So basically, yeah, because th- those are very nice because uh, the gallery has also associated those um, collectibles with uh, right. NFT, so it's uh, they have a legal access to to their to their certificate, digital certificate. Okay. 
Well, if, if you're watching this and you want to get to Adam's social media and you can't figure out how to do it, you can come over. If you look at the links below, you'll see where it says our media. Go to our Instagram page and we can get you to Adam very quickly. Yeah, or just write Adam Martinix on Google. Sure, it's easy for you Church. to say that and spell that, but uh, most people don't. <laughs> <laughs> just copy the name from the title. Okay, uh, from, no. from the thing. Yeah. It requires thought. You know how people are. Well, wait, so, why is it why is it so difficult? I mean, your it's, name? It's a Martin and and, and Akis. Martin that's Akis. Man. Sure, that's a, that was a comedy act back in the '60s. So you know, it was two guys, Rowan and Rowan Adams and uh, Markinus. Yeah, <laughs> Markinus. <laughs> Dean, Dean Markinus and uh, Jerry Adams. Yeah, I remember those guys. So your fans are watching. The, the, the lives are blowing up. So what do you want to talk about today while we wait for Miss Vicky to show back up, if she can get back in? Uh, we'll talk. I don't know. What's, what's on what do you your want mind? to talk about? Oh, well, I was, uh, so my, my week was uh, a lot of thinking about, the, like always, the metaphysics. Okay, so let's start on metaphysics. Yeah, I also posted this question, you know, uh about god that Ooh, let's talk about me i if, mean uh, if, let's talk about god i'm sorry yeah but but the question is is really simple and i don't give <laughs> i don't take any any answer that is literally you know about the question because the question because it's it's it sounds like this like god is almighty right so he mm -hmm. knows everything he she sure. it knows everything that's why mm. it's almighty that it means almighty omnipotent right so it knows the future as well okay so since it knows the future mm -hmm. it knows that you will exist at some point because he'll create you anyway right you, whatever you will do all your sins yeah and knowing all your sins because he knows the future he'll later right. judge you for them right that's what it says in that little book that they made up the yeah but book, is it logical is it logical statement this no of course not I, well first of all <laughs> You got it. Here's the problem with, I, and I'm, I believe that there's a power and a, and a, a superior being. My problem yeah, is, is that, the, so. but the problem is, is that the book that the people follow were written by men, not inspired by anybody. So if you know the history of how the Bible was written, you realize it's a farce. So that's what I'm saying. So I think you, when you talk about God, I think everybody has their own god if you will like what they believe or what they pray to and at the end of the day um it is what it is but i think some people get they they wrap themselves up in it and they've never really read all the religious works they read just the bible um but they don't read the books that were kicked out of the bible because the, the vatican I, I'm and not, didn't I'm like not pretty it sure if they have interpreted it right also you know because i'm well, saying there's a lot of often. people th there's a lot of people that say that they've not interpreted the bible correctly because there's mistranslations there's things that have been left out um there's a book called the book and of they uh, meant, Mary. and they meant probably different thing because some things that, that they are written there are totally symbolic i mean it's totally symbolic. well yeah but it's not even that symbolic it's just made up stuff and if you yeah, read it, it, it's it talks made up about everything. It, everything is made up in this yeah, universe. Yeah, I know, but my, even the they, universe they is talk, made up. Right. When they talk about Satan, even Satan is kind of made up. When we're talking about God yeah. in the Bible, Vicky, we can hear you. Yes. Yay! Yay, Vicky's here talking about people that should know about the Bible because she's from the South. Um, oh. we're, talking about, <laughs> we're talking about God and the Bible, and is it really real? Or because it was written by men, and or is there other things out there, and existentialism, oh. and everything? Well, and then, today. Yeah, so it's like for it's just easy conversation for people. <laughs> but, um, but, so, yeah, but you know something. First, about. first yeah. to answer this question, yeah. you have to understand what is real in general, what we feel real in general. Okay. I mean, there are a lot of stories out there, but the right. only real thing that exists is experience. That means that a story that you are reading and you're liking or not liking, believing, not believing, doesn't matter. Right. Uh, it's something that uh, gives you a kind of experience because you think about it, because you right. start, you know, to associate things about the story of any kind of religion or any kind of uh, philosophical story or narrative. So it's about experience anyway. Now, right. some experiences, you know, they differ, of course, because some we favor them more. 
I don't know for okay. what reasons. We might there might be millions of reasons. There might be also that they resonate more with us because there are some okay. stories that we hear they don't make any sense to us. So it's, uh, if it doesn't make sense to your to your mind, you don't want it. It's not attractive anymore. Right. But if it does make some sense, even if you disagree, it makes you some sense. So you can say something that you can say that I disagree, and you can start a dialogue. Great, but here's what's really funny when you talk about the Bible. And you start talking about religion is that people you know like they go crazy i mean whether they're muslim jew christians well the christians are totally fucked up so they go crazy over everything um but but the people go them. nuts of them. Oh, the, nah, the jews were okay we're like yeah it is what it is don't worry about it. we own everything anyway and we have you know we have lasers in space uh, we don't care oh you have <laughs> very you have that's people true, very religious true, and totally fanatic it's about fan fanatism it's about right. any religion you know it doesn't have that's to. okay it has to do with fanatism i know but here's the problem with it just in general the problem with it in general is is that once again the book was not written by if you will for lack of a better term god it was written by men the bible the king james version uh, or virgin i guess either way um was written by king james his people in like the 1600s and they took it from there's like 84 books and they got it down to 64 because they didn't yeah, like yeah but it doesn't the matter book of who wrote it it, yeah, it but my it, point is it, it doesn't matters... it, it does kind of matter because they didn't take Why? the book of enoch they didn't take the book of adam no, what, they didn't what it take matters what it matters is what it rep represents it, it represents, represents nothing ideas. It's, just, it's, it's a, yes you know what it is it's to keep human beings because i'm part of the lizard people the illuminati group it's to keep all of you people in line because there's a book written by a mystical guy that says if yeah, you do this, you go to hell. Another narrative. You can call the narrative. No, yeah, if, if, it, if, if, if it finds if it finds popularity, we will see. But yeah. uh, but it's it's all narrative. It's all narratives in, in our lives. Everything. Right. And it has to be. We need those narratives. That's why we follow no, no. religion. I, I disagree with, with that. I really. You think your it's life is a narrative? No, my your, life is your my, life is a narrative. Is, you're a human no. being. Your 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 life has to have narrative. No, it doesn't. Let me read my script right here and see what it says. Nope, I don't. Okay, so, um, but my point, like the Bible, my life. This is all for Vicky before she goes to Korea. <laughs> Her life's a narrative. Um, <laughs> right, right. My life is so popular right now. But but mm -hmm. the whole thing with the Bible is to keep people in line. Let me ask you this: If there was no Bible and no laws, and it said. Like in the Bible, the Bible, my Bible reads, you know, thou shall not kill, thou shall cover thy neighbor's wife, you know, thou I'm shalt commit covered. adultery. That's a good, yeah, that's not, what you, yeah, that's, not. I've got all that. Like, I, I'm really good at all that. Now, the thing I have, my question is, if if this little book and men didn't make a law, you shouldn't kill somebody. You think people are just going to run around and kill people? Well, I mean, they're doing that now in high no, school. No, it's just, guns, just but. common logic written there is that, that we actually yes. don't talk about it because we know that it's bad. But sometimes there are societies that see it different in a different right. way. There, there are, are more, so, some societies are more violent than others. So just life because, matters less. For example, in the history right. of the human species, we have, we see it in the past. And now the, the life matters more. No, it more doesn't. They're it killing is. each other more now than they did back in the day. Yeah, but if you now look we at the numbers and the everyday people. everyday life, it was much worse. You could be dead like that because a richer guy just didn't like you. <laughs> so you but said yeah, something well, wrong. But, but you know it's good yeah. being a richer guy. I'm okay being with punished, Get rid of the know? peasants. I'm good, yeah. So I'm kidding. We need the peasants. Who's going to clean the house? And we have made um, a lot of advancements as a society, but uh, the dangers, are, because the dangers are, are, are following patterns, you know. The dangers are the same in in multiplied because we have more more uh, powerful technology right now. The more the mo technology listen, is a tool. You so talk we have about more but, strong tools. You're 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 like you talk about the Catholic Church. You talk about Christians. They've killed more people over the, this ridiculous fable than anybody. They yeah, but they don't they matter anymore. This, you know, that. Well, they, everything they matters have, because look at it today. We're they, killing they each other today for the same stupid stuff. Look at what's going on in Gaza. Look at what's going on in Ukraine. Look at what's going on in Africa. If you start looking at all these conflicts, you know, at the end of the day, we're still killing each other over nothing. Seriously, what are we killing no, each other no, for? No, it's not over nothing. It's about histories, about well, stories. Listen, that's, and you want to know something? That's absolutely nothing. I'm killing you over something that's well, it's, a thousand it's, years it's old. It's for you, but if you say it to some guys involved in the, the conflicts, they'll tell you. Well, yeah, if I'm sitting there getting shot at, it means a lot to me that some idiot's trying to kill me or take my land. But realistically, then, if we're going to look at 
history, this will be fun, mm-hmm. the American Indian, or the, I don't like, they're, they're indigenous, we know they're indigenous, but the American Indian, you know, ooh, cowboys and Indian people, they should be rising up at any moment to take their land back from us because we stole it from them. They owned it. Yeah. It was the, it was theirs before we came and took it. So in theory, yeah, it's one of the arguments. Of history, they should yes. come and take it over. Vicky, are you part Indian? Any? Do we need to worry about this? Or are you okay? <laughs> Native so, American? No, I'm not. No. Okay. Although they don't believe that people own the land, so they would probably disagree and say that they didn't own it. That was taken from them. But anyway, except except it's until they what you call they except until they built the Hard Rock and now they're worth trillions of dollars. <laughs> now they're like, yeah, we own all this. We're good. They deserve <laughs> that money of all people. Oh yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> let let them let them build yeah. the Hard Rocks and yeah. No, I mean, it's like, it, what's, Stephen, you probably know this quote. I, I don't remember exactly what it is. It's religion is the something of the masses. What is it? Religion is the. Oh, the religion is the, the masses. No, no, it's the anyway, drink the, of the, the masses or something. Yeah, let me look it up. <laughs> it's something like that. The point of it is, is that it's used to control people, right? Or to keep people right. in line. And people instinctively need, like Adam said, they need a story. They need something to believe in. So they're going to pick most people throughout history are going to pick whatever the prevalent religion is and follow it. And, 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 you know, depending on what that religion is, if it's Christianity, some are more violent or some are more, they, they um, encourage less thinking on the individual's part and more blind following, you know, blind following a, a doctrine or an idea. And the, the less the, the religion encourages you to think for yourself and to, right. Um, have that sort of thought process, the less people are going to question the things in the religion that are fucked up, right? Right. And so I think that's sometimes why Christians are so violent is because you're meant to be a follower, right? That's the whole right. point. You're meant to be, you're not meant to, to be an individual in that religion or to question that you're meant to follow and have faith. That's the whole point of faith that's to not question, right? So right. you do, you go fight in the, crusades or you go fight for this because that's what you've been told to believe in and you don't question it mm. I don't oh, know, by the way to, to to give you the quote religion yes. um religion is the opium of the people or the masses opium if you will. The people. okay there you it go. was written in 1843 and you want to know who said it i was alive then no who said that I, I know you were alive you knew the guy <laughs> i think um carl marx is the gentleman ah, okay okay the, Good old, yeah. good old, good old, and you know Carl believed in God. So and he knows yeah. about the masses. So yeah, yeah I mean, something. it's kind of the point. It yeah. keeps people. But it's a doctrine. Anything's people, a doctrine. Yeah. I mean, like you know, if 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 Mein Kampf was a doctrine, it was a religion, if you will, for a lot of people. Could be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So when they talk about the book, and and Adam, you bring up God and stuff, but and I don't say is there a God. I believe there's a higher power. And whether you want to call them God or you want to call it the absolute or you want to call it whatever, the universe, there's something, right? Because we just didn't overnight appear, unless this is just a, like a matrix or a video game, then our creators <laughs> like a little, a little green kid about, you know, four feet tall. And he's like, you were a scientist. But still, Leave something created them too, right? Well, that's yeah. my point. I The question I always ask is, and no one can ever answer this with theologians and scientists, because they're all like, well, we're this and that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're on the scale of like there's a scale of zero where it starts, or right before mm-hmm. zero, and we're some and the scale to infinity. And we're somewhere on we'll say we're number six. Mm-hmm. I want to know what was before zero. And nobody can ever answer that question because they're like, there was nothing. That's impossible. So I'm like, tell me. So I'm very fascinated by it. So mm-hmm. not that well, so I'll I'll, I'll tell you for know. sure what there was. Tell I me. mean, there are things we don't know and we can't know. Right. There that are way. things that we can know. Right. By by straight logic, what there was for sure were possibilities because we are here. Mm-hmm. So there were possibility of us of everything that we observe mm-hmm. all around. I mean the galaxies, the quasars, the gravity, and everything. Those What's... things were mm-hmm. a possibility to happen inside right, there right. before there, and it happened. So this possibility was there. Right. So it, you, 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 already, you already exclude nothingness. There was a possibility. Now, what yeah. the possibility looked like, it's hard to say because uh, the, the, one of the possibilities was for, for us to be created and 
one of the things that uh, it created was mass and time. And we can mm -hmm. only operate in mass and time, like right, the right. physical world and time, space time, and right. nothing else. So the, there wasn't space time. But we cannot think about that. We cannot visual. We visualize everything. Our mind visualizes. But that's also a very like linear time mm, concept that Stevens like there's a beginning point and a middle point and an end point. But if time is circular or if it all exists at, as one, then there isn't a beginning because there's no the, end. It's, that's called the universal theory now. The exactly. universal theory is which is what I find very fascinating. It's like right. this is theory, we just this is always repeating. It's always Thursday, if you will, which I'm right. fascinated by. And I'm always like, at some point though, if if the loop goes a little array or whoever's in charge forgets to put the battery in, what happens yeah. then? You know what I mean? So that's yeah. why I'm fascinated by by that. Yeah. I always thought, you know, remember back in the day when we had VHS tapes? Yep. And I someone explained to me once or I read once where, you know, we think in in linear time is like a VHS tape, right? You start right. at the beginning, it has to play through and there's an end and you gotta rewind it or whatever. But if you have a DVD and you put that in, all the endings exist on that DVD at once. You can start and stop it at any point. There's no like tape that you're following. It's all existing on that. And so right. that's more like what time is, is more like a DVD where it's kind of like, here's everything. Here's all the possibilities, all the endings, all the beginnings. You can start and stop it wherever here. <laughs> that's kind of like, here's the universe on this <laughs> DVD rather than like the linear of a VHS tape. I don't know that, like Adam says, that yeah, but it, but it depends, you know, even if there is such a thing, which might, might, of course, but uh, we as humans, as these creatures, we cannot access it. I mean, in one mm -hmm. period of our time, like, let's say, our lives. Right. Or maybe what you are saying, that uh, this happened before we are beginning and we after mm -hmm. we are dead, that we exit this one... Right. Three but dimensional, just, and we go to I don't know five, six, seven dimensions, or how many dimensions there are. Mm -hmm. If we get rid of being locked, because we here we are locked in three dimensions. I mean, right. I mean plus plus uh, time, four dimensions. We are locked. We cannot escape but, this. But are we? But the other some scientists say we're in a matrix. We're literally in a simulation. You know, they don't know what else to do, and they got to get grant money. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but, but my, that, my but problem with the simulation yeah. uh, the theory is generally you know, what what is it simulating? Right, right, right. Or who's simulating it? What's the computer yeah? Because power you have to right. they have, people. Yeah, they have to have some kind of information of the thing that is simulating us. Right. I mean, the, the base. What well, are the evidence? There is no so, evidence. So here's the other thing I find fascinating. Let's just say that the 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 this it does the universal theory, which basically is we start here and it's the big circle. It keeps going round and round and round. Um, yeah. I know there was a guy at the Pentagon who held a news conference in 2019 and, and I watched it live on CNN. And he says that they have off world vehicles. They have found vehicles from other places, not okay. here. And okay. I was like, interesting. So just say that you can take that technology and you can do things with it and it helps you see things. I know there was a guy that was on a show and he's from one of the agencies that doesn't exist. And he was like, if the, if the government ever told you what they knew about humanity, people would freak out. And I'm like, you know, I don't think so anymore. I think maybe in the fifties and sixties when they wrote those initial reports, but I think if you told the people the truth about humanity, most of them are not going to believe it. They're mm -hmm. going to believe their little book. And there'll be a percentage of them that'll be like, okay, that's what I pretty much thought. This isn't going to go on with my day. And you may get 10 or 20% that get hysterical. So, but I'm like, if you know a better history of it, whether you believe it's the Anunnaki that came and said, oh, we're, you know, we make you a seed and water you, something before that, there's something more than the little book. And it, it's very nice that we believe in a guy in the sky. But it's there's more to it. It's kind of like if you ever saw the movie The Invention of Lying with Ricky Gervais, where he makes up God in a book. It's kind of what men did, right? We're going to make up this thing. Right. But if you go back hundreds of thousands of years and read the Book of the Dead, or you read Mesopotamia, Texas, and you read Sumerians or Gilgamesh and all of this, there were mm -hmm. gods that did this and that and ba 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 ba. And you're like, okay, so let's assume that there were gods and they weren't really if you will like god like we perceive it but they had advanced technology 
Mm-hmm. So then I go to, to, which is always my question, where did where where they come from? And then where did they? So I would love to meet these people. And I'm, I doubt that they're going to be showing up anytime soon. Um, and go like, <laughs> David so send me, an email. Yeah, like David, David, will, David will get them on the show. Tell me <laughs> how you, what your theory is, how you got here. Because I think you have to dissect it that way. Instead of this, we have a book. There's a guy in this. I think the book is to literally just keep our, the human race, like, we're going to make you behave. This is how we make you behave. We give you, we give you a fable. You know, you're happy. So that's kind of where my mind is. Like, tell me more about this. But I want to hear it from people that actually know, not the scientists or the guy. I want like there's people that actually know, and I wish they would come forward, but I guess they can't. But it'd be awesome to hear it. I don't even think the mm-hmm. Vatican really knows. Maybe they do. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a the whole thing about religion, any religion is it's based on faith, right? right. And faith is the opposite of questioning, and you're questioning, so it's mm-hmm. kind of like if you don't question, then you'll do what you're told, and so right. it, that's kind of the point of religion is to do what you're told because you believe it, and there's no disbelief, right? Or you're not a right. good Christian or you're not a good Jew or you're not a good right. Muslim or whatever. You have to sh- demonstrate faith in order to be a good one of those things. And if you need self-validation, then you're going to do the things you think you need to do to prove yourself. And so, you know, when you, when you question, where do we come from? Or what is this, you know, what's this religion say? Or if I read the book of the dead or whatever, you're, you're mm-hmm. seeking knowledge. You're a philosopher like Adam, you're, you know, seeking knowledge. Right. You're not going just on faith. You want to know things. And that's kind of what you should do as a religious person by their you can't own have blind rules. faith. Well, blind faith is crazy. You should question. You should question. <laughs> you should always you should. question, right? Yeah, I mean, but but yeah, but you should question everything. I mean, even even the mm-hmm. reality that you're living in, you should question it because it you is should, questionable. Yeah. It I, is I questionable. Agree, but I'm not a religious person. <laughs> I mean, I you know, I like we've talked about before. I'm kind of like Stephen, where I believe there's. You don't have to be something else, but you know, agnostic or whatever. But yeah, I don't, I don't follow the rules of religion because I question too much. I, suppose. Right. I don't like the rules of it. She doesn't like yeah. the non-adultery, non-coveting thing. She <laughs> likes that part. She like, she's like, what no, do you no, mean, no, husband? Changing. What bullshit yeah. is this? I... That's right. She's like, she's like, listen, if if they let me covet and have adultery, I'm <laughs> going. I'm, 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 in, I'm in that religion <laughs> every day. But uh, until then, Vicky's like, no, no, I'm just going to go. Yeah. Home. No, I want to go to Korea. So. Be in uh, like a Aphrodite's temple or something and be an acolyte. That's that's more my jam. Really? <laughs> Tell us I more about it. I was fascinated with ancient Greek religions. I took a, a ancient Greek in college. Actually, I'm sorry, my, when you uh, say you took an ancient Greek in college, he was your professor, an older gentleman, not, or did you study not, the, course, not or? the language, but studying the history of it. And actually, my my okay. college graduation trip, we went to Europe and we went to the different sites that were actually um, Roman, but um, right. the, the class was Greek mythology. Um, and yeah, I just find that all that all that fascinating. Um, just when you when you see what came before. How how do you narrow your vision into just believing one thing? I, I have a right. problem with that. Once you know what other people believe, and you you looked around you and seen, oh, they believe like this, or this was you know a, a religion two thousand years ago, whatever. How do you narrow yourself down into believing, you know, that it was Adam and yeah, Eve? Because, you know, I, I don't. Ugh. People are. Shit. I think I think because it yeah. it needs effort, you know, to yeah. to dig more into into the depths of yourself actually because. According to Schopenhauer, that's the only. Kant was saying that uh, we don't have access to the uh, real thing, to the mm. noumena. But Schopenhauer said yes, except from one uh, situation with yourself. You have access to yourself, to your inner right. self, and it needs a lot of effort because sometimes, if you dig, you find monsters also there. You know, it's not easy stuff because you you dive mm-hmm. into psychology also, not only. You know what we are is all psychology and uh, how we are built during the years, especially the young ages, which always mm-hmm. carry some kind of trauma. We are traumatized uh, from the beginning. And look, 
this is also written in the in the in the Bibles with Adam and Eve with the uh, apple and the, uh, saying that you will always carry the the first sin. Oh, but those are that, symbolic, yeah. you see. So it's mm -hmm. like by default they are saying to us that life is going to have difficulties. Mm -hmm. But technically, what's sin? Seriously, killing someone, not so much. That's not really a sin. That's murder. Okay, let's just be blunt. So the sin, it's that's a, a bunch concept. Of, that's, that, that's a man, man-made concept. Is like, if you do this, you go to hell. And I think that's a concept to scare the people like they'll be good. What's happened now is that we don't live in the dark ages and our technology and people's thought, well, not the younger generation, they're just stupid, but the old, the gen, my generation, which I think the three of us are in, everyone over a million. The smart um, one. <laughs> the smart ones. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, we look and we go, you know, that's not quite right. This isn't quite, you're like, you know, we're not sheep anymore. And we do think, and we can reason. And I think back in the day, people were like, oh, you know, God said, ooh, ooh you know. And now it's sort of like, oh, okay. Because every, um, Every civilization, whether it's the Mayas, the Aztecs, the American Indian, um, whoever, the Indian Indians, you know, Mega Jews, Lippis, or everybody has an origination story and God. Uh, and they all talk uh, about all this stuff. And they talk about a flood. But before they can all like get to meet, and you have pyramids all around the world. And if you like, if you read the book, um, and how, like, if you read the stories of how the pyramids came, it's fascinating, right? So if you start reading all this, there's a lot more to, to put the fable aside. There's more to what's here. And the problem is, is people don't want to talk about it because I'm, I'm assuming the governments don't want us to talk about it. The churches certainly don't want to talk about it because once you can't control the people, you can't control anything. They can't control us now as it is. So there was a guy I was on a, um, a plane with and he said, the number one fear of any government is to ever let the public know that there is extraterrestrial life, whether like you like little green men flying, whatever, you say, or people that live in the ocean or in the air. He goes, you, they don't want anyone to know that. And I was like, tell me why. And he said, because once you find out that you are not alone in this thing we call the universe, you are no longer a Polish citizen, a Texan or a US citizen. He said, you become an earthling. And once you become an earthling, a government, a religious group, cannot control you and that is the biggest fear of government if, you will, if the god created life here he, cre he can create okay. life somewhere you forget else. god let's get let, let's put the god thing aside for a little bit well whoever create whatever mad scientist 14 year old little put it aside, did, for the most of the yeah. people you can't put it aside yeah i know but i'm just saying so if that's the case and and this guy is right and that's their biggest fear the only way you're ever going to know that there's an alien is you know if they literally crash into midtown um during rush hour and being and being in new york they'd be like get out of the way i'm in a hurry so you know, it's <laughs> like they're like come on i got things you're in my way so i think you have to really look at the suppression of who we are what we are where we came from that's a government and a, and like let's just say the catholic church because you gotta pick on them because they have priests um and with dog collars and they have penguins i love their penguins they're really tall anyway and then if you look at other things everybody wants to know so you have all these people coming out and saying there's this and there's that and then the government goes oh they're crazy but meanwhile the government says we have off-world vehicles in a press conference at the pentagon in 2019. so like i don't know that makes they, no sense they have what me. they have what oh, they said there was a general that came out and he said at a press conference on it was on cnn i remember i was watching it and he said we the, I was you, the Air Force, the Army said, we have off-world vehicles in our possession. He goes, that is true. Because they're talking about UFOs. It was covered live. It was a live press conference. He, and he admitted they have off-world vehicles that have been recovered. Full stop. Cool. And they show anything meaning not, of them? not of the U.S. And, but, but then it was sort of like, oh, okay. And then if you look at a guy like Bigelow, um, he's a UFO guy. He believes in UFOs. But a lot of these people that come out of their little thing and they talk a little bit are like they found off world vehicles that are like millions of years old with technology far beyond what we have and everyone's like so what do we have it here did they come and when they find this stuff they suppress it because i think when they find out what it is they're just like oh my god we're not what we think like the human race isn't what it thinks it really is you know 
Well, like the Native Americans, when, when the Europeans landed, you know, they were a, a, a god, right? Or right. Something. they became this sort of, you know, they didn't know anything beyond their tribe. And then this, right. this great white alien thing came and they were like, oh, this was foretold in our stories and blah, blah, blah. And right. So then their world expanded into, oh, there are other people out there. And so, you know, maybe we're at the tribal stage where we're not... You know, for, we me, the, for me, it isn't the the mo I don't think that that's the most uh, uh, biggest fear. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean that the biggest fear is always death. The government, your your own death. Yeah, by, by... I'm okay with my own death. You're saying the biggest fear of the government, yeah, though, Adam. Yeah, I was talking about the biggest fear of the government, not people. People, yeah, not people. people are nothing. People are minstry. People, you can play be placed like this, and they do because they're eight billion. But on. okay, I mean, if you have evidence about something, now now I was watching in. There, there, there were some guys like a rumor that there's an evidence that there an object is coming towards Earth, and mm -hmm. it has corrected its course already. Yeah, twice. that's five years ago. Here. It was called the it was called the Abi Ubi or something. There's a whole book written on it. I read it. It's fascinating. No, no, no. It's not the, like, uh, no, from a Harvard professor Uma, wrote Wawa, the book. Uma, Uma, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uma, that's Wawa. Wawa. That did it. That no, that they're they're talking course. about a new one. New oh, one. a new one. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. A new one that it's <laughs> coming friend. here towards <laughs> Earth. Yeah. And uh, and you know something I've he I've heard so many things about those stories, but I've never seen any evidence. I mean, there's no evidence. Well, the Harvard professor that wrote uh, Avi, whatever, I've got his book in my bookshelf somewhere. I read his book. He has all the scientific data about how that thing was doing one thing, and then literally, like he said, asteroids and meteors just don't stop and make a right hand turn or a left hand turn, and this thing would just be like, oh, it's self correcting. It wasn't just doing like he said the trajectory should have been either a b or c and all of a sudden it did x y or z he said they don't do that and he said like it stopped it got faster it went slower you know it's it's sort of like ah should i make a right i make a left ah, i'm gonna make a right and it was sort of is it was fascinating to read the book it was sort of like it had intelligent control and meteors and asteroids don't have intel they're like throwing a rock i throw the rock the rock goes where it goes and it stops it doesn't stop mid-flight and go you know I don't think I want to go straight anymore. I want to make a right. And this thing had intelligent design where it made a right or a left and did its thing, went up and down and slowed up and sped up. So if there's another one coming, yeah, that's fascinating, I think. Um, and But there's scientific proof on the last one. I thought that was awesome. His book was great. I mean, it was like you really had to take your time and read it because there's a lot of mathematical stuff. But if, once you get through it, it's like, all right, I get it. So I I think... If you go back, there's the green tablets now. This guy named Brian Carson talks about at the London Museum about, you know, how we were created and what Adam and Eve is, what really Eve was, the, the Garden of Eden was. And it goes through all of this. And I find that fascinating. If you look at the Book of Gilgamesh, they have real technology in there about UFOs that, like, people are like, how would you know this 10,000 years ago? Like, if you read some of this stuff, there's no way they would know it unless they have an advanced civilization there. Like, I'm, I'm not going to sit around like you're living apparently like, you know, in a mud hut with no power and be like, you know, if I uh, have a nuclear reactor and I but do the still, following. You, look, so, look, you know. Because we we don't follow in general in, in the uh, uh, society, we don't follow this story, but it's one of the stories. It's another it's story. But even if it's true, even if it's yeah. true, yeah. my questions go beyond this because okay, they what's go, your question? Why there is everything that there is, even though, uh, even the aliens or uh, right. okay, I care on, on how I, we have developed. Right. I don't think that there is a need for an extraterrestrial for us to, to come into this point. Okay. It's just given enough time, we just are here. Okay. And uh, I don't see any other evidence of some kind of technology that is more advanced than the one we have here now. Really, uh, but but yeah, we haven't seen anything. Yes, like I, I well, I see a lot with the AI companies and quantum companies we deal with. There's a lot of technology that the public has no clue that we're. Well, if we don't have any clue, then it doesn't exist for us. <laughs> no, well, that's the same. I'm, and, but the government, when the, listen, when the U.S. government air force, Look, I cannot says, think of a life of th imagining things that might exist when I don't see the evidence. I, I mean. I have yeah, to keep my. They, that, that doesn't mean they don't exist. I'm pretty sure that many, many million things exist that I don't ha have idea yeah. of because I'm human. I have a specific uh, operating system that I perceive life. Right. 
and everything. It's very specific because it has been evolved through, I don't know, four billion years. And well, it's specific. That, that it's, 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 it, it, it's hard to hack it, although we have some technology that hack it sometimes. Right. You know, everything that we do, even medicine, we hack. You know, something also of a natural cause, but we add another natural construct. Right. But it's a pill and it kills your disease, for example, like this. Uh, but in general, you don't see in that kind of form in nature. I mean, you don't take pills from the trees. You have to construct. Well, the ancient, it. the ancient uh, Asians, people in China, they everything they did was natural medicine. It all cured people. It's just yeah, you know, even, America came yeah, out with yeah, big yeah. pharma. You know, like yeah, even the tea and people. everything is kind yeah. of pill. Yeah, let's yeah. let's say. But I'm talking about how advanced we have gone. I mean. But is it, are we advanced or are we just getting people addicted to stuff so we can keep them Look, stupid? we are advanced comparing to every possible uh, uh, point on the past. We are more advanced than but ever. But we don't know that because if you go back and look at the pyramids and you read the Book of the Dead and you read the other books that are 5 and 10 and 30,000 years old and even older, they were actually more advanced. If you read their stuff, they could levitate, they could what? do, they could... Yeah, there's How, a whole bunch of you, They there. could levitate. So there's a book I read, and it talked about an Egyptian priest and um, that was on a barge with an Egyptian princess. And it's, you know, it's just, we'll go, it could be a fable, it could be true. But it was, this is in their ancient history, like the Egyptian history written on a wall. Some guy wrote a book about it. And he said, mm -hmm. so the guy, the, they're on the barge, and the princess drops her necklace into the Nile. And I was like, well, okay, well, too bad for the princess. And the priest had them stop the barge and whatever device he had, he had a staff kind of like Moses and that staff, he was able to separate the water and the, and the, whoever climbed down from the barge, got her necklace, climbed back on the barge, gave it to her. And with his staff, he closed the water. So yes. Do I think there was more advanced technology? 10, 20, 30, 50, a hundred thousand. Uh, right. Yes. Somewhere. It's not an evidence because oh, they could write it I'm, just. Oh, to... really? There's no evidence. Oh, the Bible. It's got to be real. It was written. That's what these, that's what people perceive. You just told me what I read uh, wasn't real. So is the Bible real? No. Did I say that it's real? It's no, not, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm sure. Just it's, part literal. Of the it's not, it's hey. not re literally real. Of course it's not. Well, people believe it's literally, literally real. The gospel well, truth. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else with IQ points. Um, now, I, I think it's a useful fiction, like myths, that they're pointing somewhere. Okay, they're useful they for the society. I think they are useful. I, I disagree. I no, don't I think that's anything that's useful. And, and the Ten Commandments are, are just... There's, first stories. of all, there's over there, like there are useful stories in the Greek ancient uh, myths. There are useful stories in the Indian ancient oh, myths. In the Greek, all, all how do we know they're myths? How do we know they're not reality? Just because we weren't there, well, because that make Zeus them was also flying around here and there. But here's and, the problem, uh, having though. sex we, with we, girls here and well, there, well, 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 making well, 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 yeah, yeah. Wait, first of all. That has to be true. He's having sex with girls. Number two, um, flying <laughs> I'm around. Not flying around. The, so how do you know? I see, because I, I, I need to it. see it to to to. We fly, oh, excuse it. me. I fly every other day. I get on an airplane. I fly around. Yeah, but he was flying without an airplane. That's what he's okay, he just they flying. Have those, they, they have or turning packs. into golden uh, golden rain. He turned into golden rain. Oh, that's a golden he shower. Had many... that's, that's another show. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> that's a whole other show, Adam. Um, but no, but. I so, think it was pure imagination, but in regards so. for creating a story that has to, yeah. that, that, that points somewhere, that, that wants you to, to show you something. Yeah. I don't think and it, at I that time I, behind, it, it worked a lot. Every myth, behind every myth, there's fact. And that's how I look at the myths, like the first Chinese yeah, emperor but you don't know what flew the, in on a, on a what dragon. What the fact is from the myth. Well, yeah, but I mean, the Zeus flying it. around, I don't think it's a, it's a fact. I don't, I don't, you know why I think it, you can only describe it for what you understand it of your time. So your reference I, point. My reference point. So if my reference point is like the first Chinese emperor flew in, the myth is on a giant flaming dragon. And he left 20 years later on a giant flaming dragon. And all I know is, you know, we think dragons are real. Maybe they were, I don't know. I wasn't around 10,000 years ago. So, but archeologists today hide things. You know, every, the government hides things. So when people say, oh, it's all mythology, I'm not so sure about it. I'm sure it's been tweaked over the years, 
But when they find actual tablets or the Book of Gilgamesh and these other books that start talking about advanced technology and it's 10 or 20,000 years old, no. There's something. Yeah, but what technology? We need to see the technology to see. They do it in Gilgamesh. Read the book. If you read the if you read the book in Gilgamesh, it literally lays it out. It gives you how to build a spaceship that does time travel. It's there. So my <laughs> point is, is that you know, if you if it's there's something to it, we just go no because time they travel. couldn't have been that smart. Time travel, their ships, everything. Yeah. Look yeah. at the walls. If you go and look at the pyramids and all the the, the data that we have is that time travel cannot exist. I know, but the data is wrong. Well, the data is wrong until we see the device that is going into time travel, we, we know it, it doesn't it, exist. <laughs> no, no, we don't know that. What we know is that we, at this point in time, someone hasn't said, I can do it. And they, if they have done it, they're not telling anybody. So I don't believe anything can't be done. I just think it's whether it's, it's going to be um, displayed to the public is a different story because if i'm the government and i can bend space and time and i'm able to travel from here to pluto and back and you know what would take 50 earthly years it takes me about 20 minutes i'm not telling anybody that why would i tell you my why would i tell you that you know what i could do with that technology if i'm a government or if i'm a company or if i'm a person mm -hmm. i could do anything that no one would ever know because I could be and do everything and, and be just so oh, it's game. Yeah. So it's game over. You will it's, never know. I think it's, been, it's game. I think you will know at some point by mistake. Something will happen. At oh, so some we're point. waiting for the mistake. I think so. I do okay. think so. I think we are waiting for the mistake. It's kind of like you know, three mile island or the invasion. Pardon me. Yeah. Uh, or the alien invasion. One of the two. Well, or we know that's we know that's coming. According to the guy <laughs> from the CIA, he said that's coming in 2017. So we're all going to be dead. Fascinating to me too is that like. If you're if you're a, a astronomer and you're looking at you know you discovered a new planet oh look here's this planet X Y Z out here and they have oh evidence for Adam you know there's evidence of um, little things flying around the planet so they have they have uh, the technology to travel and all of a sudden you know this we see this thing on our scopes and we see that this exists what's the point of that existing if it has nothing to do with us and then that kind of takes us out of that sort of you know mm -hmm. earthling you become an earthling why why does that exist over there it has nothing to do with us so that means that we're not well, the, the potential of the universe of the, of the nature right. I, I guess it's it, it is egoistic to to believe that there's life only here but look uh, there's been a lot of time and the conditions for life don't seem to be easy so no, there I'm might sure. be other life, but we don't know if uh, it's wait, so advanced. No, I just, and, and I disagree our advancement. With, I disagree with know, that. It's, the conditions look, of life are easy for you to have a human life, but we understand it has to be. Know. They call it the Goldilocks. That doesn't mean if I go to Mars and there's someone living on Mars, that means that they've adapted to that condition. Like if if you go look at War of the Worlds, right? What killed War of the Worlds? like the common cold type of thing, right? You know, they got to our, they couldn't handle our atmosphere or whatever. So, you know, we go live on Mars or Pluto or planet X or whatever, you know, we have to adapt and over, whether it's a few generations or millions of years, the babies, which, you know, cause are going to be born space on the planet. Yay. Space babies are going to be born <laughs> on that planet. will adapt to that planet and they may look different than us. They may, mm -hmm. I'm being somewhat funny, they may have gills, they may have, whatever it is, but they may be different to adapt to that environment. So for this environment, and this is why when scientists say, oh, life can, the scientists are stupid, I'm sorry, you are, but for our environment to see this, what we are today with the animals and everything we have, that's what you need to survive. But on the moon, Pluto, Mars, Venus, Jupiter. Bup, 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 you bup, think the scientists don't, don't know that? <laughs> I think scientists are, no. I think science is stupid, and I think they have their head up oh, their that's ass. That's a big thing. Big no statement. Oh, <laughs> right. let well, I met some pretty, pretty I'm genius a, scientists. I'm a, I'm a genius. I can't help it. Let a scientist come on and debate. No, listen. I've talked to scientists, and they'll say, "Oh, you know, life." And I'm like, yeah, "Look, what, yeah, what, what about this?" I, I don't know what the point is. Okay, let's say, okay, they are different than us. Of course, they would right. be different than us, but they have right. to have some similar things, like to come here from anywhere right. else, 
Mm -hmm. It's we don't imagine the distances. We don't imagine them. The closest another star system, another star system, is four point one or two uh, light, light years. years. Right. Four, you yeah, need 4. a technology to come. Right. You know, to get into a ship. That would be and bending. Travel. You need technology. That means time? you need Take advanced off. thinking. Right. You know, turning material into something that will make right. a tool for you. That, that's yeah. advanced thinking. Right. Uh, it's pretty sure that they won't look the same. It doesn't matter. But the common thing that they have to have is this. And they have to have it much, much more advanced so that right. they build the machines that can travel. But, you know, there are there are very strict things about the traveling. Uh, even if you, you find very, very fast, there are some limitations in space, and it's it's really I find it really really hard to get any communication from any kind other system that might have advanced uh, a form of living. It's but that's unbelievable. only our knowledge of what we know today. But if you listen to guys like Bob Lazar, who supposedly worked at Area Fifty One back in the eighties, and he talks to you about the propulsion and the gravity bending and everything there's these machines can do. For them, well, you know, you can, you, can, you can look. I'm an artist. You can put your imagination, go wild, and you can think. He works of for any the U.S. government. Of, uh, he works for the government. He's telling you actually what he knows to be true, and he's been saying the same I thing for thirty plus years. Look at I've, look at Bigelow from Bigelow Space and Aeronautics. I need this the evidence called, to see it. You know, to see I, it. I think I think Bob Lazar has the closest amount of evidence that the public's going to know. I think Bigelow has a lot. So he's not going to tell anybody. Um, John Until Lear, that moment, we have to wait. Until John he provides Lear evidence had, that's going John to Lear, make... John Lear had photos of space stations, not ours, on the moon. And he showed them. There's a whole YouTube video with John Lear going, bo 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 It's also just been... Where did he get ago, the Because the, 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 he, was, the he used to be a spook. From... And I think he literally just stole them from NASA. The other thing which was interesting is John Lear would say, when they share your picture to the moon and Mars... They are um, um, anyway. The anyway, way they look. Wait, wait, look, let me finish. Look, they're, Stephen, they're enhancing the Stephen, way they look. I don't care yeah. if there are aliens. I don't care. Okay. I, I, don't, do I just, I'm just saying my logic. <laughs> my yeah. logic is saying that it's impossible for other civilizations to come here. It's impossible from any kind of point I that you will see. And and then how we can communicate now? If we are children of some alien species, it right. doesn't answer my question why we are here in general. Right. Why the aliens are here? You know, this is my question. Why everything there is here? This is my basic, and it's the basic, basic question. Yeah, that's too basic. I mean, How, I, we know that. What about the TikToks from 2016 that went from literally a meter from the ground to like 50 miles in the air in a second? I don't What's believe that? what I see on the internet right now or read. That was from I the United States it. Navy. I don't like care. They, they can lie it. too. They, they can lie to lay the government's <laughs> lie from time to time, you know? That's the problem. <laughs> the Catholic Church. Evidence, we don't believe it anyway now because there's so much deep fake stuff that even if no, we have an like, alien that walks up and says, Hi, I'm an alien from Alpha Centauri. Exactly. Like, you, don't, you, don't, you don't know what kind of technology people have with AI so exactly. now, right? Stuff like that. No, in I, 2016. I, this, this actually, listen, there's like documented stuff. The guys were all on like real, like 60 minutes. They had the real. Uh, um, no, I get it. I agree. And everything, I just think but... people aren't going to believe it. It could be the realest right. evidence ever right, right, from right. the government, and people are still going to be like, nope, fake. Yeah, this is the or... perfect time to tell them that aliens exist, and since nobody's going to believe it, nobody will be right. panicked. That's what they well, were worried about. But I, I, don't, I don't see, I don't see any people. implications no. that aliens exist or they have come really? here. Although I don't believe it, I don't see any big implications in our life because. Our primal fears that we're gonna die still exist. Doesn't that's not my primal fear. Change. That's never been a fear of mine. I could care less. You about don't that. represent the it. whole of humanity, Stephen. <laughs> you represent yourself. I mean, yeah, I'm saying what I see in, in, our, in, in our life every day. Every, in everybody. Know, I, it's it's inevitable. This body goes. I know that, but whatever's inside the the according to the absolute, which is the CIA gateway project, my energy goes to wherever and it goes wherever. Okay, so I'm good with that or nothing. So, you know, I'm like, okay, so the death part, I could care less about. It's the part between born and death. But that's important. do you think that that's the way most people think in the world? No, I think most people are afraid of tomorrow. 
And I'm not in you. Why? I'm not gonna, <laughs> Why? There's, a, there's an old, there's an old saying. Right? Because, because they might die, die tomorrow. Well, they will die you know, at some point in the future. And if they die, what happens? And if your religion tells you that you get to go to a lovely place with a hundred virgins, oh, yeah, then yeah, yeah. that's part of it. That's another okay, never, stress. Never you know, that's another fear. I've never met one, but it, let alone a hundred. But, <laughs> but it's connected is, to the primal fear of death. Right. But the other thing is this. You can either die a million times and be scared of everything or die once. And I live under the premise, I'm only going to die once. So mm -hmm. I'm not worried about anything other than when it happens, it happens. Great. In between that, that time and now, I live life to the fullest. I want to know as much as I can. Um, I, you know, whether it's about UFOs, reading a Bible or reading the Quran or reading the book of the dead, I'm fascinated by all of it, even Greek mythology, because behind all of it, there's some truth. The question is what's true and what's man-made. And to me, it's just a every, every truth is man-made, I think, <laughs> I, know, I think. But I do believe because there's no I, other way. It's it's because we are we are humans talking to humans. That's it. <laughs> That's... Some of you are human, anyway. Um, but no, I, I truly I truly think that we are. And I we think and we I think don't... in a conceptual language. We think yeah, in think narratives, different. in stories. Think, so we are saying stories to each so, other. Yeah. Every hey, scientific I, theory works or doesn't work. It's a story. Right. Yeah, the scientists there, but 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 those who work else. that work are more useful because we can implement right. it inside our technology, which makes let's say our lives easier. <laughs> Listen, as long as you keep the sheep and the ostriches with their head in the sand, uh, they'll believe whatever you want them to believe. And the human race is the greatest bunch of eight billion ostriches ever created because well, they do what they're told. Here's a weird question for Adam. Yes. I don't know if it's the coffee kicking in or what, but okay. So <laughs> say, say like to other alien species, we're like little animals, right? So like we're to us, there's the ant or there's insects or there's, you know, bears, whatever. They, they are at a societal level below ours, right? So we're gods to them, probably. To your dogs, I'm sure this is the case. You, Adam, you're, you're a god to your, your sweet puppy because she's like, oh, this, yes. this, this, this man feeds me and he's just like the best thing in the world. I love him so much. But, but so okay. do you think that animals have a religion that we don't know about? <laughs> That's an interesting animals. question. They're animals that what we don't know about. Dogs? Does the dog have a religion that we are not aware of in their mind? Right, no, no, no the dog cannot have understand. a religion because because the dog does not Maybe associate you're... his life with narratives. It doesn't have metacognition. We have metacognition. We know that we know. The dog doesn't well, know. Well, we that know your know. dog has a soul, and we know that they dream. That's, and we di that's different. That they... They, they, they are conscious. They, are, they have consciousness, yes. Yes, like we right. do. So maybe like they every, have every, every, kind of every living. They have Maybe different, you're the different... God to them. And that's all they need. It's not organized. They, 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 all the they don't have a they don't have a concept of a god. They have a concept of a prime mate, like the alpha. So he, he sees me. My dog sees me as the alpha, the alpha. in his team. Okay. The most important so, one, the one who brings food, the religion? one that decides this. Yeah, right. How are you any different than a god to him, though? But look, the difference the difference between. Um, uh, us and the dog would not be that great that between us and the aliens because the aliens if they have come here mm -hmm. from different uh, system mm -hmm. they'll be totally totally different than us i mean it would Probably, be but maybe not. we don't know maybe no, no, they, they have to they that. have to if if they have managed to reach such a destination only this is it's pure logic from wh wherever wherever that means that they have been living for a long time in the space that they have managed mm -hmm. to to live to 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 be to be alive inside space, which space is not friendly for living, because it's and and we're talking about um, um, unbelievable amount of space, unbelievable. We don't, we we cannot imagine it. And if they have come here from somewhere else, that means that this kind of species is very 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 advanced. That means we we don't have probably any kind of uh, means to to know that they are here. 
Mm -hmm. You, you know those those about. videos, those videos right. that we see somewhere that is there. No, they can erase it from our vision. They can right. erase. They can but become black, invisible. Yeah, invisible. Yeah, yeah. But about that, we're saying. So, but you go. Oh, I don't see. Don't believe. That does just because you don't see it. That doesn't mean it's not happening. Yeah, but it yeah. doesn't make sense to me that uh, I can believe in many things. I can believe right. that I am. Uh, I am making up all of this thing. My mind is making up mm -hmm. all its solipses, and yeah. I can believe in this. And right. you, you, you have no uh, evidence to, to to tell me differently. Right. Mm. You, you, how can you? Well, I, if, if I will just, I will just it, be it, saying that <laughs> my imagination, my my, my imaginary Stephen, is just trying mm -hmm. me to convince me of something that doesn't exist. But it's one of the things that I imagine. Oh, so. God. Even the, the voice in our head. I can, I can, I can believe uh, myself talking now because now right. I'm talking out, but I'm looking at myself also. So it's like an externalizing thing and, and, and looking at them also, you know? Mm. So, oh, I believe that this guy is right or Vicky is right or the, anything that I would decide that I prefer this story. I like this to see the voice in your head, though. That's this is awesome. the, this is so the, screwed up. <laughs> the, the mind, the mind that I don't know if they really care about the truth. I think I they care that. about the most interesting story. They like interesting stories. If the truth is very interesting, they will favor it. Mm. And I think Mine that the truth is the, race. is the most interesting story, but it's so, so complicated that our minds cannot grasp it. I don't think it's that's true. I think our minds can grasp it. I think we just don't. We just think humans are stupid, which they are. But I think if you tell so them, if we are stupid, on, what can okay. we? What can we decode? Actually, no, nothing. I mean, like you know, every now, every now, every now and then, a blind squirrel finds a walnut. Broken clock is like <laughs> twice a day, right? So I mean, so, that, that's not a great species. I I would prefer those aliens that came and you cannot see them feel it but they are here but there's no evidence that they are that they're what, what why would a, 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 an alien civilization that have lived mm -hmm. that have managed to live in the space for millions of years because you need millions of years to come here whatever right. technology you, you have no maybe you don't maybe you can bend space and time you can be here in 30 seconds maybe it's multi yeah. maybe they figured out yeah. dimensions if, you, if, you, can, if you can do it if you can do this if you can yeah. do this you have no reason to come here this Why is not? a shit hole for you because this is shit hole for you they hang out with me look it's a shit hole for you because you're if they are so advanced <laughs> right. you're a shit hole to that they'll go to other civilizations where, that, which are more interesting holes. than us <laughs> do you think do you think it's accidentally landed in the shit hole like when you're going to vegas and you end up in bakersfield like, That's you know, right. maybe but like if, a, if they have this kind of purpose. civilization so, so yeah. advanced, this yeah. is really a shithole. We still have wars, we still yeah. uh, watch footballs, we still, you know, just the everyday <laughs> shit that I we mean, do, we eat, we have sex, like, uh, you know, wait, wait. You, you, you just don't press. You wait do, you, a second. You, if you just don't press. You don't even have to press anything. You just, just think, "I want the biggest orgasm," and now you have it. Okay, you don't need I'm anything okay, else. Wait, wait a minute. We do. Yeah. Well, I need. Well, what yeah, can yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. We're going back. To wait. Well, so you're, back wait, you're billions of years advanced from us. This is the thing I took from everything just Adam said, which makes a lot of sense. But you're billions of years advanced from us, and I don't have sex. I didn't like that until you said I can think about an orgasm and I have it. Sign yeah. me up. I'm there. <laughs> but that, that, would, that would be I'm that listening. would be a, an advance uh, uh, civilization would look like. I guess they don't. They don't need to move. They don't need to speak. They tr transfer ideas to your head like immediately. So like that. Yeah, but they do. That's what people say when they've encountered UFOs. That's what happens. Here, let me tell you a story. Maybe you Barney and Betty Hill, nineteen sixty. Nobody encountered anything. Yeah. Barney and Betty Hill, 1962, were abducted by aliens. They encountered it in their, in their head. No, in their, let me finish. Uh, let me finish this story. Imagination. You, you know, after that, do whatever you want with it. So Barney and Betty Hill were abducted by aliens. Um, Barney was black. His wife was white. Interracial couple. They get abducted by aliens. It was a movie about it in the, late set, uh, the early 70s with James Earl Jones playing um, Barney. And Betty was telling about the procedures that they were doing to them, like sticking needles and doing this other things and yada, yada, yada. But one thing they showed her, she said, where do you come from? And they showed her a star map. This is like 1962. And under hypnosis, she drew the star map. And when she showed that, they showed it to all these astro astronomers and all these professors and military people. Everyone said, this does not exist. 1975, guess what they found? That 
that she drew in 1962. So I find it hard to believe that Betty, who's just a housewife, decides mm-hmm. I'm going to draw, make up a story and draw a map. So no, I think there's things out there. I think the average human doesn't comprehend them or doesn't want to. I think in, we open our minds, it's right in front of us. But the Betty and Barney Hill story is probably one of the best documented. And it also gives you, like, here's a constellation that we never knew about, a star system. And it's a star system that's brought up in a book that's like 15,000 years old about where they come from. So I think what, there's a lot there. What does, it, does Okay, you believe that there are aliens. What does it change in your system, in your Ooh, um, physics, for example? For, okay, there, there <laughs> are aliens. <laughs> All right. yeah. So, so? <laughs> I'm fa- to me, if, if so I'm fascinated that they're there. There's a report written by... Um, My question what, is what, yeah. why they are there, we are here, why there, there is all because this thing. Th- I like the... That means that there's so much more to explore. There's so much I more... I know that there is much more whatever. to explore. Right, there I'm fascinated by... They, they wrote a report things. for the CIA in the 19th, the Rand Corporation, wrote a report in the 50s or the 60s that says you can't tell the Americans or the world about UFOs because they'll go crazy, it'll end religion, blah, 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 blah. I went through this whole thing. The problem is we don't live in the 50s and 60s anymore. We live in 2024. And I don't think, and here's what's really funny, because of all this crap, like Vicky said, nobody really cares and AI, but nobody really gives a shit anymore. Literally, I think they could land on the White House lawn tomorrow and go, we're here and people are going to be like this with their phone. Yeah, that's great. Oh, there's an alien. Okay, that's great. Oh, did you see this TikTok video? People are so <laughs> stupid. And so into whatever, nobody would care. There'd be 10% of the population be like, this is really cool. What are we going to do with this? The rest of the population is going to be with their head up their asses or playing ostrich. They wouldn't care. And so I think it's time, in my opinion, for the governments, not the church. You see, church, it's not that of importance. <laughs> it's, it's, impor- it's important. It's, it's not important. the biggest fear of humanity. The biggest fear of humanity fear. is death. Yeah, no, yeah, always have been and always will be. And this is, and this is actually... The thing that that preserves life, the the fear of death, it preserves hey. life. Eh, I don't know about survival that. Survival preserve life. You if you if it preserved life, you wouldn't have wars. You wouldn't have people doing stupid stuff. You wouldn't have people killing each other. We'd be taking care of our people, not letting them be homeless. So there wouldn't be poor people. Well, that's even wars, yeah. even wars, it's a mechanism for humans to preserve life. In, 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 yeah, in a way, to get rid of people. It's like uh, we need food. Yeah, to get rid of other people that are are eating your resources, for example. Let me ask you this. Or, so the Russian invading Ukraine, uh, well, there's no purpose for that. And also Hamas attacking They have Israel, They have no taken purpose. resources. They have taken lands. So resources. Oh, really? Because Russia is so small. Well, it's not that small, <laughs> but those resources there are probably needed for them for some reasons. They just want to... And Putin's Another to story, to but they believe the story, so they fight for the story. Yeah, if nobody wants to fight for it. That's the problem. Well, I mean, there like, are uh, people dying right military. now there for some yeah. kind of story. Either the story is, oh, he's going to pay me uh, 1,500 bucks. Yeah, that's a crazy story. That's another story. For. But and I will go and yeah. kill yeah. others because I'll be paid this money. There, there's a whole article in the Economist that they're all deserting, like they all just want to get her, like going over to the Ukraine. Side but there like are people listening. killing other people for some kind yeah. of stories. That's yeah. That's well, true. look at Hamas. Uh-huh. Hamas is killing is is killing Jews. And then Hamas, the Jews Hezbollah, decide, Jewish state also. On the other hand, they're also well, stories here's what's, on here's the what's other funny side. About that part of that conflict, when the United States in 9/11, the towers got hit. We said, we will find you wherever you are, and we will destroy you and kill you and yada, yada, yada. And the whole planet's like, you go, America. When Israel does the same thing, they're like, why are you doing that? So, you know, we can, these double standards, this is what I'm saying. It's maybe just as well that an intel, we don't. Uh, do you think UFOs that uh, most, most of the uh, uh, other countries like that there was a uh, later inv- invasion to the Iraq? Because that was what happened next. I, I'm aware of what happened. Uh, yeah, I, what do yeah, I think? That's that, like that, that what happened. Most of the people yeah. did not uh, uh, like accepted it. this. I can't. But here's the also. thing: this is the problem with America. Like we're like we're going to go do. We don't think through anything. We're like the big bully sometimes. And the problem is, is that we've we've like for the last hundred years, we're like this big bully, and now China is coming up, and all these other countries. At some point, you know, it was just it was either we're all gonna it's gonna implode. Well, we're all going to have to get along and we're going to have to say, listen, 
we need to think through this and we need to do this and we need not to have oligarchs and tyrants and blah blah we all need to like help humanity but until we decide we're going to help humanity we're screwed i mean literally it's a, it's an arms we race don't agree on how problem. we will help humanity or well, what I is humanity perfect, that's why I i'm saying that we need to see philosophically th things first i think philosophically we, we should we have a, we have a problem a in philosophy man. in general first <laughs> so no no i think we should we should watch him go write a book called to serve man and for anybody that knows the twilight zone episode you know what i'm talking about and i think that's how you uh, you serve humanity so you, you ever saw that episode yeah. to serve man they, they translate this book it's called to serve man and they're like these aliens land and everyone's all excited and they what, take you what to show was it a twilight zone called this oh, the twilight I zone had a theory called i saw it very man. very young yeah well, one of the reason I think this is very funny because they're all like the aliens are here to help us and everyone's all happy and great and blah blah. And then they read, they finally translate the book to serve man and they realize it's look a, what, a, what I was trying to say about the aliens and helping yeah. us and stuff like this. If there are aliens and they have come here, they can help us like this. Maybe they I understand. Did. It's it's understand. it's in their ability to help us in, 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 in like I don't know, they just they'll just release a vibration around the earth that will change our minds into positive thinking and something like that. I don't know. But if they exist, they would have this kind of technology. Um, so so to travel and, and manage to travel those millions of years in space, that means that you have overcome we many, have many, many, director. many advanced. Sorry? You know, if we're going to, I wish I thought when I need them. They might have the prime directive, Adam, which is like they, they want to go out and explore, but they've agreed to not interfere in any society that they No, encounter. look, look. So they observe you, but then, they're then not Then it doesn't matter. Then it doesn't matter that they exist. It doesn't matter. If we cannot perceive them. It doesn't matter them, to you, but it matters to them. Matter. Yeah, they like that they exist. <laughs> they like that they exist. Yeah. Look, I think that if something so advanced exists that they would not care about this planet. It's 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 too too yeah, under advanced. I look at an ant sometimes. And I'm like, what's that ant carrying on its back? Oh, it's a giant leaf. That's kind of cool. I mean, then I go about my day. I don't like try and move put the ant. But on still, stick I, I imagine you know, I imagine the the because the the, the universe is such a big place. It's really really big place. We cannot imagine. That it's really hard to find other. You know, I don't think so. I don't think really so hard. at all. I think there's stuff right around our corner that the government, will, if knows about, doesn't tell well, us about. That everything. can be only imagination, Stephen. Ah, uh, there's there's yeah. literally reports we'll that you can read that are like like from back in the day that they tell you about this stuff. So yeah, there no, are not real ev evidence. There are not real okay. evidence. All right, Adams is the bunker. There you go. <laughs> I don't the 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 bunker. The debunker. <laughs> I, we need real use, evidence. We I need real evidence. A, I could fly. A that's why. That's why I. I, I, I never. I, I always have a question: Why all the miracles that happen of, about uh, Christianity happened only at the time of Jesus, and never they never happened at the moment that we have, you know, mobile phones that we can record it. Now, of that's course, why. I don't believe in videos because there is AI. So <laughs> too late. Right. <laughs> now right. I need to see it with my eyes. Yeah, yeah. And, now, and, and even if I see something very, very strange, I'll start to think what kind of technology they have. I, not that it's a miracle, you know. Oh I'll start to think this way. Okay. Miracles I, were just it's really just hard for me to believe in stuff. But, but I tell you that even though stuff exists and stuff like that, I try to, to my mind is occupied with what's behind all of this. Or any kind of illusion that you will look, look at. I believe that what we are perceiving right yeah. now, it's an illusion. It doesn't exist the way it, it, yeah. it exists. There is an external world, but what you're perceiving is just a tiny, 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 tiny nothing of what Make the wizard of eyes. Don't look at the man behind the yeah. curtain. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. And my, my question is what there is behind it and what is driving all of it. Why well, it we exists? People, the man from Kansas. Out of society, want to just say, "Don't look behind the curtain," and uh, just mm. keep sticking your head. And they try to, I, I try, I try to stick to the real, real things. You know, the right. evidence, and the evidence is that we exist. We know that we exist. We, do and we? We exist we into know? ourselves, also. Okay, yeah, you, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you exist. I don't, I don't think that I've that I've created <laughs> you in my head.
Well, you know, the amount of drugs that I you took in so. the sixties. So, yeah, no. The good times. <laughs> the good times. <laughs> the the drugs were cool, kids. So, anyway. Well, the kids did not have TikTok that yeah, destroyed right. their sexuality. No, no, right. Yeah. Right. Now, now with all that crap, you don't have it. Like, hey, we extended this episode so much. I have to go go on shopping. Do some oh, shopping. I gotta go. So let's gonna end it. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Vicky, are you here next week or in Korea? I'm in Korea. Yay for Vicky. Okay, I everybody. might be here. Who knows? We'll see. I never know. Anyway, we'll be back live next Monday, rebroadcasting on Tuesday. If you just want to listen to the podcast, go to Two Old Farts Making Noises, wherever you get your podcast. That's T W O. You can spell the rest. And we will see you all next week. We're not sure who's gonna be here, but we'll be here. All right. Cheers, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>